If you don't have these things down pat on your forehand, you are going to continue missing short balls. You're going to send them long. You're going to send them in the net and you're going to be confused on the court and you're not going to get the results that you want. The first thing that you need to do if you want to stop missing short balls on your forehand is lean over the ball with your chest. You are closer into the court and often people send this shot long. That's the most common way of missing it. What you need to do is feel like at contact point, your chest is leaning over your front toe. And if you can, you actually do want to try and feel like you can literally get over the ball. So at the end of the swing, that's your head and that's your feet. And it needs to be on an angle like this because if we're ever so slightly, even neutral, and especially if you're tipped backwards, you're gonna send the shot long. Now, another thing that you need to do is set up at the height of the ball. A lot of people will set up for a short ball by starting their racket high and then going low, but there's no time for this. Take, think about it like this. You're stepping in to take the ball earlier. So you're actually giving yourself less time to set up. And a lot of people, they'll run up to it. They get too close and their swing is so big that they hit the ball behind them and they miss. So what you need to do, let's say the short ball, it bounces and it's at shoulder height. Set up at your shoulders, swing across your body at that height, leaning over it especially on a high ball, you don't want to go any more up from here. You need to go directly across and lean over with your chest because if you go higher, you're going to send it long. Even if it's at your waist level, you can't go high. You got to swing across your body. But look, for a short ball, which is probably at waist level, possibly below, you're going to set like this. Boom, right there and get over it, okay? Now, the third thing, I recommend that you actually don't move your feet on this shot. When you get up to it, you want to plant and be on balance, okay? You've essentially kind of got less court to work with because you're closer to the net. So your margin for error is going to be much bigger. And you want to make sure that your body is perfectly on balance and stable so that you can really focus on directing it where you want, okay? And I also recommend on this shot, aiming for the percentage posts. And that means aiming about three feet inside the baseline and the single sideline, okay? Another thing that you need to do to stop missing short balls on your forehand is fix your follow through. Watch this. A lot of people will follow through like this, way too high. And that's not going to give you any top spin at all. You need to adopt a windshield wiper finish. And it's going to look like this. You're going to catch the racket below the shoulder and at contact point, your wrist is back and stable and you just brush over it. But it's not my wrist. I'm swinging from the shoulder and I'm using the body. Okay. On the shot, you need to use your body first. It starts with the legs and Make sure that you're up on your toes because you're going to need to explode up and over it. Okay. And yeah, that basically covers mostly what you need to know for a short ball. If you do the advice that I give you in this and you implement it, I promise that you'll stop missing short balls and you'll become more consistent and do me a favor, like, and subscribe for more educational tennis videos. Thanks. If you're starting tennis later in life and you don't have a system, you're going to fail more and you're not going to get what you want on the court. You can continue paying top dollar for tennis lessons and by the end, all you've really gotten is a bit of exercise. You've maybe run around, they've set up a few obstacles and if you ask for any specific advice, the coach will change the subject. This is because most coaches don't actually have a system. They are essentially making things up on the spot. I share the most important information in a fast course that you can copy 
for success. If you can learn it and use it and take the actions that I recommend, you can make more shots, play with whoever you want, and enjoy tennis for the rest of your life. The link is down below. Ciao.